Hey beautiful, hey beautiful, what's going on? Oh, what's going on with you? Oh, it's a, it's a pretty horsey. Oh, it's a pretty horsey. You're rolling in the dirt, boy. James is not gonna be happy to see that, is he? He's gonna have to clean you all up. And look at that hair. Oh, braided hair, man. Chicks would be envious of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at James, he's, he's saying, I know. <laughs> the easiest way to do it is to ask him to back it up, I mean, to back up. Oh, okay. For some reason or another, that makes them tuck oh, themselves okay. back. Oh. Nobody needs to see that, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm driving, thank you. I can drive if you want to go ahead. I'll drive. Now, when we're done, we'll yeah. braid it and put them away, and when we undo it, then it's all kicking. Okay. Yeah. Want to see? There. Okay. See? That's you. Um, let's see. We left the accent. That's you on the we camera. All the way to like Chico. Because my kid lives there. Oh, yeah. He's a handsome so, horse. Rain. Ultimately, we never saw him because he was like moving there and it didn't all work out. Yeah. It rained torrentially all night. So oh, no. by the time morning came, sleeping in a horse. We've never slept in a horse trailer with a horse in it. Oh. And every time he moves or farts or whatever, he wakes up. <laughs> you know how many? One, two. So second from the bottom? One, two, three, four, five from the bottom. Well, count from the bottom. How many up? Five. Five up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I meant... Where are something's you? way different on this side, sweetheart. <laughs> I went on the internet um, and looked at gypsy cogs yeah. to see, first of all, what a price of a horse like this would be to see if we were in the ballpark. Right. Um, and then to go on her website. So you had to pay duty on her when you brought her up, or? Oh, yes. Him. Yes. HST. HST. Now the great, the greatest. You'll get that back. Huh? You'll get that back no. eventually, won't you? <laughs> we delisted from that. Are there nutritionals or something that he's right now he's on uh, he gets his shots from the veterinary and holistic veterinary for him. Oh good. And he gets a shot. Um, and then he's on uh, two tablespoon two tablespoons of cucurum and hemp oil every day. Really? And he's getting much better. He is coming along quite nicely. for him to turn in on that side. So this is the legendary knobby. Yeah. The legendary knobby. The legendary knobby. Yes. Very famous boy. Very famous. So if we Google knobby, We'll find legendary Nobby. You will find legendary Nobby. How do you spell Nobby? N O B B Y. Okay. He's inducted into the Gypsy Hall of Fame at the World Equestrian Games in 2010. Just a few years ago. Shivers. 
was standing in. Just like a human hair, you take three strands and. Yep. That's it. James can French braid. I'm not, not talented enough. <laughs> he does beautiful French braids. I can just do a regular old braid. <laughs> I'm just going to loosely braid it because then we, we'll tie it uh, back up on itself so that he doesn't munch on it or step on it. And is that also so that he doesn't get uh, knots and stuff? And yeah. They call them uh, wind whips where they, they get like a curls into itself and it yeah. just keeps, yeah, I call it a wind whip. With this much hair, it doesn't take long to uh, make a mess. They uh, don't mind the Clydesdales and stuff like they don't get, he's looking very like, don't come into my area, buddy. About a second here, when that pride style gelding comes down, he's going to get very excitable. Um, but yes, the three stallions here certainly have their own method of body language. <laughs> oh, by excited, you mean he's going to be winning or stuff, but... Uh... Yeah, he'll, he'll get very excited with the gelding coming down. Is she in heat or? Uh, it's a gelding, so it is a, it's a neutered male. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. A neutered male. Okay. That's the easiest way. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure's been taken out of his life. That's correct. <laughs> See, I didn't even know what gelding was before. Oh, yeah. The Thank neutered you. male. An awful lot of work you have here with the animals. It's a labor of love. It's been a rather hot the last couple of days to be too much. <coughs> I know. Now that's... No, 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 no. You cannot stand still. <laughs> Never mind. Stand still. Oh, it's not a girl, Mom. It's not a girl. Sorry. Now, why do they why do they neuter the why do they make geldings? Like, isn't it more valuable to have a horse as a stallion and breed it, and or are they more of a pain in the ass when they're? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this behavior can be quite quite difficult to deal with. And most, um, you really have to have your wits about you and have stallion experience to have them. They can be quite a challenge. Geldings are worth their weight in gold. A good, well-trained gelding is far more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Behave. Oh, they seem calmer. They are very much calmer. You've removed the testosterone, right? right? So you don't have that behavior. Um, but there's more of a widespread, um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for more people that you can sell a gelding to that sure. can handle a gelding. Yeah. They have soft dispositions. Yeah. You know, they're, they're easy to get along with kind of guys. They're very good. This particular horse that just went by here is, uh, he was part of a, a team of six. So he is called a, there's the wheel horse, and I believe, I could be wrong, a swing horse and then the lead horses. And he was the swing horse, which means he's the, the middle two, part of a six horse hit. He's had extensive showing. We belonged to a little 12-year-old girl. You're kidding. No. And it was, when we bought him, I got uh, this lovely little letter from this little girl, 12 years old, with pictures of her and Tom, and all the favorite things Tom likes, all the itchy spots Tom likes, Aww. all the peppermints Tom likes. It broke my heart. No <laughs> like, we bought this child's, killed this yeah, child's no horse. Um, and she still emails me every once in a while to know how he's doing, Aww. and I send her lots of pictures and video. So she can see how he's doing. Yeah. And she still misses him. So I bet. Yeah. Now he's not lonely coming from a six team thing and he's out by himself or? Well, when he first came, yeah, he misses his buddy. Yeah, he I misses bet. his buddy. When he first came, I put him in with uh, Bobby, 
my little gypsy mare and, and Cache, the baby foal. Um, and he loved the baby, so he played lots with the baby, oh, so that good. took a little bit away for him. He was a little bit happier. Yeah. And I had, um, I had him in with an Irish thoroughbred mare that we just had, but we just sold her, so now he doesn't have a buddy. Uh oh. So I have a gypsy stallion, or a gypsy gelding, pardon me, that's just coming home from training, and he'll be Sam's new best friend oh, again. Oh, good. He'll hate, or, you know, Tom's new best friend, Sam and Tom. Yeah. So he'll have a, he'll have a new friend. <laughs> yeah, and does it take, will it take long for those two horses to become accustomed to each other? Well, first, they know each other already. Oh, Because they? they met here. Okay. Yeah, but I will first introduce them with the electrobrade in between them, uh, just to make sure there's yeah. no problems. Yeah. But they're both geldings, so. Oh, okay. And Tom is 12, so he's, he's a mature boy, quite sensible. Yeah. Sam is only five, so. Well, Tom will show him the way. <laughs> so I'm going to go down and look at Tom. You go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, the mites, like even in England, you know, like you know, all the Facebook pages where these groups of us can have the sun down. Like, yeah. Everybody's always talking about it. 